Our hero today is me. My name's McCary, I'm 26 years old. I got laid off about six months ago. I haven't spent money on myself in about a year and I have the eyebrows and hair to prove it. And I don't remember the last time I had a good bowl of guac. Before COVID, I used to wear jeans and skirts and put effort into my appearance. And uh, yeah. I barely leave my one bedroom apartment and I look at screens all day long. So this change of pace is gonna be good. <laughs> My partner Jackson doesn't know I'm doing this and I'm picking him up from the airport tomorrow night. So the plan is to surprise him with my stunning good looks and improved personality. Oh, I know! Oh, that's so sweet. Who's ready to turn this sweatpants queen into a sexy machine? Woo! <laughs> yeah! So this is my closet. I actually have lots of nice clothes. I just choose not to wear them. Like uh, this thing. This feels like it would pass the queer eye test. I have green pants. A lot of people don't have those. And my favorite are my overalls. They're cute and they're fun. Do they make me look like an adult? No. My typical daily outfit is a t-shirt with a sweater and leggings or sweatpants or maybe baggy jeans. I'd like to find a statement piece that I can style with the clothes I already have. And then after that, I think it's just on me to find reasons to get out of the apartment more and dress up. This is the kitchen. I'll be coming back here later today to cook up some Antony specials. But now, the bathroom. I am going to get a haircut today. I'm just a little bit nervous because the last time I went in for a haircut, I asked for this and got this, so. That was bad. Same thing goes for waxing my eyebrows. Last time I went in just asking to look normal and they sent me out like this. So enjoy that. And just for funsies, I'm going to get my eyelashes lifted and tinted because why not? Let's spend all of the money today, I guess. This is where the magic happens. Lots of Monopoly deal is played on this couch. Yeah, nice. I love my apartment with all my heart. It's the best, and if I were to get evicted, I would cry for a really, really long time. But a couple weeks ago, my parents' perfect angel dog that I love with all my heart chewed through my throw blanket. So today, I'm going to get one. And Bobby uses throw blankets in all of his designs, so it's like I have an interior designer for free. It's nothing like that, but you know. Last but not least, my friend Steph is coming over for dinner tonight, so. If that's not social interaction and relationships, then I genuinely don't know what is. All right, let the queer eyeing begin. I don't know how to walk normal. Do I redo it? No, I, we're good. We're going in. The goal is cozy and affordable. Cozy and affordable. Oh, you love to see it. What do you think of this one? The goal was cozy, it looks cozy. Yeah, okay. I'm excited to see what it looks like in the apartment. I'm overwhelmed. Obviously, I didn't like any of those, except for one item of clothing, but I'm gonna save that for later. Now I'm gonna walk really naturally up these stairs and pretend like this isn't all part of a plan. Time for my haircut. As a reminder, the last time I had my haircut, it looked like this. So, being a little nervous. The goal is just to look normal. All right, wish me luck. You're a hot slut who takes things one day at a time. You're gonna do great today and this week. Wow! <laughs> oh, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. <laughs> it's time for 
eyebrows and eyelashes. Again, the goal is just not to look like this. We can do it. Jeez. It's gonna be such an unfortunate angle to have to look at later. <laughs> For the big reveal. It's happening. It's just me here. Ta da! I had these jeans already and I styled it with my new top that looks just like a cup of sherbet. The hairdresser kept my hair long. I love it. She gave me layers and I have a really low maintenance face framing situation going on. Things are good. I'm also really happy with my new throw blanket. Looking very good. But I'm gonna go show you some more outfits just with the clothes I already have and I never wear. Okay, outfit number two my Chucky shirt. I'm loving how I can frame my face with these little bang situations. I don't know, they're not, maybe, I don't know what they are. Hair situations. Mm, feeling good, feeling cute. Okay, outfit three, my overalls. My favorite, yep, yep. I just love baggy pants, they're so freeing. Why would I wear anything else? This is awesome. But I don't have any more time for trying on clothes because Steph is coming over in about an hour and I need to get dressed and start cooking, so. Let's go get dressed. Beep bop boop. Dance, dance, dance in my big pants. Don't tell me that it's over. Never say that I can't relate. I still wanna come over. Cause I know that it's not too late. Too late. Too late. Too late. Tonight's menu, we have pomegranate mocktails with lemon and lime juice, sparkling water, and of course, pomegranate juice. And after that, we have guacamole. Although Anthony does put yogurt in his guacamole. Not too sure how I feel about that, but we're doing it. And last but not least, we have avocado capri salad with grilled chicken. Mwah, chef's kiss, how exciting, love that for me. My eating habits lately have just been like, eat whatever is available to me because I'm too busy and tired to put stuff together. And I end up eating scrambled eggs or maybe granola with some almond milk for dinner. And I feel like I go to bed hungry a lot. Uh, too dark? I don't know, moving on. So I get stressed planning meals for the week and I can't really cook without a recipe. So I use the free Meal Lime app. You can pick your recipes for the week. It makes a grocery list for you and then it shows you the recipe in a step-by-step way so try that if you feel like cooking is hard like myself Throw a blanket. Where'd you get it? <laughs> Tell uh, me about it. Anyway, that's all I wanted to film with that. <laughs> Thank you for joining me today. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like spending money a lot goes under the guise of like self-care, like buying the new product. So I mm. feel like there's an interesting fine line of doing stuff that makes you feel good and feel pretty and smart and sexy and all these things but you're also not just doing it to try to keep up with everybody on social media. I have two nieces that watch and I was really trepidatious of making this video because I was really nervous. I didn't want the message to be, you know, spend a bunch of money and get a haircut and get your eyelashes done and then that just solves everything. Your motivation behind what you do that like can make a huge difference. You won't be satisfied if you're like chasing after what everyone else is doing or like trying to look a certain way for somebody else. I think that's where you can like get stuck in a rut of just consumerism and like mm -hmm. unhappiness, but like whatever, take care of yourself however you like makes you feel mm -hmm. the best. Look at us. Look at us. Go team. Queer eye. Yes, queen. <laughs> Definitely eight. 
I haven't really got a lemon seed, so <laughs> I've just been keeping it. I feel really good. And I think, you know, haircuts and eyebrows aside, it was just so nice to be able to go out to the salon and to talk to people and feel like I was a part of the community. I can't wait to pick up Jackson tomorrow and see what he thinks of all this. You know, I forgot to tell you that the guacamole with the yogurt in it, actually really good. But we don't have time to talk about guacamole because now it's time to see how the surprise with Jackson went. Come along. I didn't actually get there in time, so I had to hide behind a garbage can. <laughs> I was trying to make it a surprise, but I had to hide behind the thing. <laughs> you look new. Okay, and this looks new. Yeah, it's a new shirt. I got queer-eyed. By who? Myself. <laughs> I made a video about me getting queer eyes. Really? And I, was trying, I wanted to make a big surprise at the airport. Shall we? Yep. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> I'm sorry. Keep your eyes closed. One, two, three. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's the rug. Or the, the blanket. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, we have two options for an outro. We can either dance sentimentally or I can beat you at Monopoly Deal. What will it be? Let's dance. <laughs> at the end of the day, it just feels good to change up a routine and spend quality time with the people you care about. love fruit but never buy it because it's so expensive? Try buying it frozen. These frozen blueberries are great in smoothies, yogurt, and even just as a snack. Go get that vitamin C.